Hi, this is Lee Lehman, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about compasses and the compasses that we have at Lehman Associates. Uh, since a lot of the people who do astrology also do things like feng shui and other kinds of astrolocation, it seemed natural to not only stock astrolabes, which are an important part of astrological history, but also compasses, uh, because we can find many uses for compasses. And basically, given my background doing classical astrology and the history of astrology, it seemed that um, we were interested and we thought uh, our customers and students and friends would be interested in compasses that have a kind of a more historical flavor than just the thing that you pick up uh, in, uh, in an office supplies place. So I'd like to show you three of our compasses and what makes them interesting. Okay, now just a simple first one. This is a compass that uh, has basically looks rather like a pocket watch. And in fact, if you think it looks like a pocket watch, you're absolutely right. Uh, it has uh, uh, a, a compass uh, figure. It actually um, is uh, done in enamel and it has a brass case and it closes like a pocket watch and it has a chain so that you can wear it around your neck and have your compass when you go out to see people or uh, when you want to do some uh, locational work. So this seemed like a good working compass that had the advantage. It's, it's got rather the classical style of the brass and it looks very nice. It wears very well. Um, and so it's got, it's got an aesthetic to it that seemed really appropriate. Now this next compass, which I have to actually work to pick up because this is much heavier. This is something called a cardan compass. And as you see the top flip down. Okay, so now here's the story of this compass. Notice how I'm moving it back and forth and how the compass itself is adjusting by these gimbals, uh, as they're called. You might remember the term gimbal from Apollo 13. Uh, this is simply a device. This was invented, it's called the Cardan Marine Compass, and the Cardan is precisely our friend and uh, historical colleague, Jerome Cardan, the astrologer, uh, medical doctor, and uh, polymath uh, of the Renaissance, uh, who has contributed much to our field and to others. Basically, what he contributed was this gimbling idea so that the compass, which was just absolutely a critical device uh, in terms of marine navigation could work at sea because of course at sea you've got the waves and so your compass has to move in all directions and what you see here with the gimbal mountings is that the two mountings here and here are operating uh, at 90 degree angles to each other so that allows for stability of the compass at sea um, it's just a really nice device for us sitting on uh, in land as well but uh, as I say, it was originally a marine compass. Now, the third compass I want to show you is something called a Urania Propecia. Uh, and this represents uh, a different kind of history uh, that, that uh, is kind of fun to tell. Uh, the history in this case is the Urania Propecia uh, was named, of course, after the sky goddess Urania. Uh, and it was specifically named uh, as the nickname of a woman astronomer. Uh, of the Renaissance. And uh, so the idea with this, what's a compendium? Well, a compendium is uh, an astronomical device that does more than one thing. And this was, again, a common idea in the Renaissance. There was a, a great emphasis in the Renaissance period in producing not only beautiful instruments, but accurate instruments and interesting instruments. And here's what makes this interesting. Um, you'll see that actually when I turn it to the side that what we have here is a pocket sundial. The sundial itself uh, folds down. We have a nice pocket mechanism uh, in the Renaissance style uh, and uh, a nice solid metal here. But the thing was, if you've ever set a sundial, what you realize is that in order to set it, you need to face north because the gnomon, which is this pointing device, uh, has to face north. So what do we have in the bottom of the sundial but a compass? So you can use this both as a sundial uh, for telling the time by day and as a compass to find your way and find your directions. 
So these are three of the compasses that we have to, uh, for your enjoyment, uh, as you do feng shui and other such um, interesting studies.